in the preposition video, you learned that Qualum has only one preposition. English has over 50 of these small words that come before noun phrases that indicate notion like location, position, and direction. Some examples of English preposition are up, down, to, on, at, beside, below, and from. It may have occurred to you to wonder, since Qualum has only one preposition, how does it express all of these locations and direction ideas? The answer is to have the location and direction are expressed in Qualum primarily by the use of special verbs that indicate direction and location as well as motion. It is verbs in Qualum, not prepositions as in English, that expresses the idea of up, down, to, and so on. This is a major difference between Qualum and English. Another major difference is that these verbs can be strung out in sentences one after another. Verbs used in a series with only one, stu um, one subject are called serial verbs. English can string two or three verbs together in some limited ways, like run, go get help. There are three verbs, run, go, and get, all strung together. But in English, this isn't generally usable. We cannot say, I ran, go get help or anything similar with this with verbs in series. In Qualum, on the other hand, uh, this kind of sentence with one subject and two or more verb is very common. Here is our model sentences. Each of the models has the verb hia, go or leave, and the verb oh, go to, which are familiar to you. Um, neither, neither of these verbs are really necessary. You can get the same English translation with only the, the last verb in each sentence. The column transition doesn't give the fine meaning distinction that column does. The hia adds the notion that the subject is leaving or going away. The oh adds the idea of moving in a, partic in a particular direction. The last word is the one that specifies the direction. Also, the first two models specify a direction with respect to the water. This could be toward or away from the salt water of the strait or the ocean or the fresh water of a large river or lake. If you scan the list of direction motion verbs in Appendix D, you will see that many of them have a water orientation. Traditionally, the water has been the most important means of transportation and source of food for Klallam people. This importance is reflected in language. The final model sentence shows that the number of verbs can be combined in series. The order is generally flexible. This is the verb in the, in the model can be shifted around and you will still get basically the same meaning. However, uh, there are some restrictions as to which words can come first. Generally, if hia is there, it comes first. The verb oh never comes before hia. In fact, that would be ungrammatical. The subject and other speech act particles follow only the first word in the sentence. This is shown in the final model sentence, which has ya and sin following the first verb. Typically, all the verbs in a series are intransitive, but this isn't necessary for this case. For example, ya oht aqui kunangets. Ya oht aqui kunangets. 
he goes across to help me. In this sentence, the first sentence, the final verb is transitive with the C object suffix, and the subject of each verb is the same, he is the subject of hia, oh, akwi, and kunangits. In other words, it is he that is going to and across and helping. If we look at this second sentence, um, kunangits in hia, oh, akwi. Kunangits in hia, oh, akwi. I help him go across. In the second sentence, the subject of hia, oh, and akwi is him, the object of the verb kunangit. It is not I, the subject of the first verb, that is going across, it's him, the object. In general, the rule is that the subject of all the verbs in a series is the same unless one is transitive. In that case, the subject of all the following verbs is the same as the object of the, um, it's the same as the object of the transitive. So like this third sentence, kunangit hia ocht akwi. Kunangit hia ocht akwi, help me go across. Did you notice that the object of the first verb is me? The unstated subject of all the following verb refers to the object, I go, I go to, I go across. And the most common and useful location verb is ia. That verb basically means be there, as in ia yatsin. I was there. It is more commonly used in serial verb constructions, as in in ia na kwatsut. Ia, this verb basically means be there, as in ia yatsin. I was there. It is more commonly used in serial verb constructions, as in in ia na kwatsut. I was standing there waiting. It is frequently used to specify a place, as in Manya uman yatsteinu ia yatsen set. Many people were there at my father's place. Let me reread that one again. Manya uman yatsteinu ia yatsen set. And after Kunawi. Yeah, it's good to. Au na oitu tu asa a ai. I 